So many fields rely on this sort of instrumentation. Pretty much anybody who designs, tests or works with electronic equipment of any sort will use test and measurement equipment. We were frustrated in how little innovation there had been in the area over the last decades. Literally, if you walked back into a lab that was from 50 years ago, the equipment would look fairly similar to how it is today. Moku Lab has really transformed the way that we do research because we can now have one instrument that allows us to observe a signal in the time domain. We can then instantly reprogram Moku Lab to analyze that signal in the frequency domain. And then when we're ready to take a measurement, we can flip over to the phase meter instrument. We started looking at these chips called FPGAs. FPGAs are a type of processing chip that has a couple of key advantages over conventional technology. So you're probably familiar with a CPU. Now CPUs are in every computer that we have and they can typically do one or two or maybe even 16 operations in a single clock cycle. GPUs can do maybe a thousand operations at the same time. FPGAs are the extreme example of this, where an FPGA can do a million operations all at the same time, all deterministically. So this means we can completely wipe the chip and rewire it in a fraction of a second to perform an entirely different function. We try and identify all the steps that a user has to do from taking the data to presenting that data. And we try and cut out as many of those steps as we can and combine them where possible into our device. This means that our users typically can do things much, much faster than on conventional instruments. You know, Moku Lab is just as accurate, just as precise. You know, it just has as just far greater flexibility, far greater versatility than conventional test and measurement equipment. From the start, it was always a goal to be competitive in terms of performance. We looked at taking the best of modern user interface design and bringing it to test and measurement. And that means that users can now save their data to the cloud with one touch. They can analyze their data or put it in the form they want right from the measurement device they're using. I think it's a complete reimagination of how test and measurement should be done. Instruments today all look the same. They're big beige boxes with a bunch of buttons. We think that there's a real change coming to the industry where the conventional hardware market will convert to a software industry. Liquid Instruments is at the forefront of that change and we have some big ideas on where we're going to take it next. It doesn't look like a typical beige you know, box that you'll see sitting in your lab, uh, but it is definitely the real thing. It's professional grade equipment designed to be used by professional scientists and engineers with the accuracy and the capabilities and the features that you come to expect from a standalone instrument.